you claim a virgin birth, you have actually sabotaged the claim to being a Messiah. Yeah, a lot of Christians will say, Matthew and Luke provide genealogies of Jesus. They descend, it shows clearly that he descends from King David, despite um, whatever contradictory stuff there is between the two genealogies. And they'll say that, well, wasn't the Jewish Messiah descent, uh, meant to be a descendant of David? Therefore, the genealogies confirm that Jesus in the, is no doubt uh, the Jewish Messiah. What's your thoughts on that? So, as it turns out, we have only two infancy narratives in the Christian Bible. In the Gospels, there are 89 chapters. Four of them contain infancy narratives, two Matthew, two Luke. And they have almost nothing in common except for that both of these books claim that Jesus was conceived supernaturally to a virgin. Only Matthew and Luke make that claim. Mark makes no claim, doesn't even discuss Jesus' birth, is not interested, in, and John is not interested in that either. Now, as it turns out, this is a later development in the church. That means that you won't find any mention in Paul's letters, chronologically the earliest surviving Christian literature, about Jesus' virgin conception. You won't find anything in the book of Mark, chronologically the earliest, but you find it in Matthew and Luke. The problem is so is manifold. When the church claims that Jesus was born to a virgin in these two Gospels that are written probably in the 80s, and I'm being conservative. There are some people who place Luke's Gospel um, into the second century, but we'll steel man this then Jesus can't be the Messiah because he can't be a descent of King David through his father. Meaning that the way you know what tribe you're from is through your father, not your mother. How do you know that? Because the Bible says so. I and mean, there's a reason why the genealogical um, record in Matthew has, it's only men, and in Luke it's men. They're very different genealogical uh, lines, but whatever, they're all men. The, the Torah says in Numbers chapter 1, verse 18, according to your family, according to your father's house. So only a father, biological father, can convey tribe identity. Now, someone's going to ask, but you know you're Jewish for your mother. That's true, but that's separate. So what happens is when Christianity adopts the notion that Jesus was conceived supernaturally, which occurs in the late first century, then Joseph's genealogy or his putative genealogy is irrelevant. And that's what we're offered up in both Matthew and Luke. In Matthew and Luke, we have the genealogy of Joseph. Now, they're so different that according to Matthew, Joseph's father is Jacob, and in Luke, it's Haley. I mean, they go just wildly different, wildly different, wildly different. But the what is germane is that these are genealogies of, these are the supposed genealogies of Joseph, but Joseph is not related to Jesus. I'm not the first person to notice this. Christians have stumbled upon this, and they come up with various solutions. Uh, the most famous is that, you know, Matthew traces the genealogy of Joseph, and Luke, on the other hand, traces the genealogy of Mary. There are some that reverse that. But the reason why this is problematic is manifold. As it turns out, it's just not true. It's not, a, it's not only not in the text, but Luke is very specific about this, that it is Joseph that is from the house of David rather than Mary. See Luke chapter 1, verse 27. So therefore, when you introduce the idea of a virgin birth, you no longer have a genealogy that goes back to the house of David. It can't work. And if you think this isn't important, think again. Because, in fact, that's how the book of Matthew begins. In fact, when you open up a Christian Bible, Matthew appears first. It shouldn't because Matthew is written 
at least a decade after Mark. And there's reason why this order works well for the church to have Matthew appear first. But how does Matthew begin? This is the genealogy of Jesus Christ, son of David, son of Abraham. And then we're given Joseph's genealogy, and Matthew's claiming in Matthew 1, 21, 22, 23, that uh, Mary was a virgin, and while betrothed to Joseph, never was intimate with him. And in fact, Joseph wanted to divorce her when he discovered she was pregnant because we're told that the one thing that Joseph was sure about was that he had nothing to do with Mary's pregnancy. Luke is different, first of all, the way it flows. Matthew flows top down, it begins with Abraham, Luke reverses it and goes to Adam, who's the son of God. But the genealogies are just, they're problematic for other reasons, but I don't want to overwhelm your viewers. I mean, Luke is not, uh, does not have Joseph, a descendant of Solomon, which would be necessary as well. There are other problems with it, but those are chief problems. You claim a virgin birth, you have actually sabotaged the claim to being a Messiah. If you enjoy this program, please like and subscribe. <laughs> יציר נברא ואת נעשה בחפצו כל